Uh, I'm Justin taking CSGO for EDX. Um, I, and I'm I based in New York, um, and I am older, I'm like in my 30s, and I am very excited about CS50, and I've, I've had a lot of fun so far, and I'm, I feel very um, intimidated, though, by the what feels like the inevitability of using sort of math that I was always afraid of earlier in life. Um, I, you know, sort of met on things like calculus, and I really struggled with statistics, I remember, sort of like in late high school and college. Mm. And I'm curious if you have like sort of guidance on how somebody who is like more of a liberal arts type person mm -hmm. um, should sort of confront that kind of trepidation about math in uh, CS50 and beyond, really. Yeah, Doug, I see you're nodding your head. Do you want to feel this? Well, I was mostly taking issue to being called old in my 30s as well, but, uh, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to pass it off to Brian in a second because I think he also would have a good take on this. But I think know, know that CS50 only expects algebra. Um, like calculus and statistics and stuff are not really going to come into play for you. Um, but everybody's going to tackle this differently. It's really hard to answer for me to answer this question um, in the abstract because I think that everybody's approach is going to be a little bit different. But I have had plenty of students, you know, half of our students right now are not, are taking this course as an elective, right? Typically in the last couple of years. They come in from history, from English, from government, and they thrive. So I think it's really just motivating yourself and realizing where your strengths and weaknesses are and try and play to your strengths and just focus on the weaknesses and uh, try and you know, chip away at it. But let me, let me pass it off to Brian because Brian studied um, in some liberal, he has a, has a joint major in both computer science and uh, a liberal art. Yeah, I definitely agree with everything Doug said. I'd just add that a lot of what you can do in computer science is more about uh, thinking methodically than it is about mathematics and especially higher level mathematics with things like calculus and linear algebra. Like I took calculus and linear algebra classes, but I basically never use any of that material in my day-to-day -day work in computer science. Um, and I'd also add that even in the areas where higher level math tends to be more important, so areas like artificial intelligence and machine learning, where a lot of that is a lot of linear algebra, in many cases, someone else has already written a lot of the code to do most of the mathematics part of it. So there are libraries out there that where someone has already written code to implement a neural network using linear algebra, for example, so that you can just use that code and run machine learning programs yourself without needing to know any of that underlying math. So that's one of the nice things about computer science as well. You can build on top of the work of other people without needing to implement all of the details yourself. And for what it's worth, I think this is such a common thing for folks to be a little uncomfortable with or turned off by math. And I think this is in part how it's generally taught, at least in the US. I mean, at least in my experience, you take a lot of math classes as a kid where it's a lot of mechanics and it's a lot of problem after problem after problem, but without really a view of why you're learning how to take that derivative, why you're trying to integrate numbers, why you're trying to solve a system of equations. And honestly, it wasn't until I took in high school a class in physics where all of a sudden certain aspects of math began to make more sense and why first or second derivatives are actually compelling. And if you're rusty on that or have never heard them, that's fine. But it was in the context of another field that I finally found math to be interesting. And so I would take comfort in that too. CS50, as Doug says, doesn't particularly require more than arithmetic or little bit of algebra so that you're familiar with using symbols like x and y and variables more generally. But invariably, if you go off and study more about graphics or artificial intelligence, honestly, you can pick up the math that you need along the way. So I wouldn't worry about your discomfort now. You can get comfortable over time.